In this episode, Rob drills more holes and mounts more things. I'm going to put this gauge in from behind. This part here will stick out. Ivan finds his calling. This is something I'm good at. And we head off into the big blue. After a week in Whakatane, we travel back to Whangarei, North Sand Boatyard and Javelo. <sighs> so, we have another little minor, minor little teensy weensy faux pas. And I'm installing a, um, a temperature gauge at the cockpit so I can read the temperature of the engines. Um, and what I've done, I've started drilling a hole you'll see in here uh, with a hole saw and I'm going to put this gauge in from behind. This part here will stick out and then there'll be another one here. Um, yeah, really thought this one through. <laughs> Would you demonstrate? So He's made a hole lovely big hole. Now the, hole you know, the problem is, this thickness here is way thicker than I thought it would be. I didn't realise it was going to be quite so thick. Show us how it looks, Finn. Put the thin four other gauge in. Cut <clears throat> so the gauge is yeah. in. I mean, it'd be great if it was ideally if that front edge of that lip was like at the front edge. Yeah, that would be ideal, wouldn't it? <laughs> Listen, look. folks, well, we don't live in the perfect world. Okay, so but this isn't that world. <laughs> we certainly don't live in the Well, it was strong. <laughs> oh, well, serious? where should we start? Yeah. <laughs> you think that looks nice? <laughs> 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 poking through there. What I reckon is if we can paint all inside there for a start and oh, paint yes. the same colour grey or maybe yeah. black, actually black, the same colour as the meter itself, black. Do you oh, like that I like idea? It's upside down too. Mm -hmm. And upside down, put the row out. I think that'll work. <laughs> Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you said before you started. We've uh, discussed the problem as I suggested we'll paint the inside of that room. I reckon that's going to be... So, that allows me to carry on and do the second one. Love it. Nice one, Dad. That's going straight to the pool room. Declan, what are you up to now? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get lifted up to the top of the mast. I'm what? gonna take some photos of the aerial uh, so that we can fix it up, get a new one and stuff for the VHF. Awesome. Dust with your varicose melancholy wrinkles and rust. How are you going up there, Dick? All good? Symphony, something with sympathy for life. It's cannonball brevity. Don't wash and then weather me. And all your lost heavenly muscle and melody. Lullaby, symphony, something with sympathy for life. Going back into the drink. It's cannonball brevity. Don't wash and then weather me. And all your lost heavenly muscle and melody. Ooh, 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 ooh. Skipper gets to unblock the toilet. And I'm not even sure I can unblock it. But an unnamed individual has used a little bit too much. I mean, it was I mean. <laughs> Could be that guy. Has used a little bit too much toilet paper. So now it is left with someone to unblock it. And I've had a little vent, I have to admit. He's like, why do you use so much toilet paper? Because it's not the first time, is it, Ivan? How many times is that? Um, and quite a few times and so, so anyway we're going to push on and I'm just I'm putting all my weight uh, uh, 
hear the squeezing, it's actually water literally coming out of the seals. And I, I'm sure I'm going to run. This is the worst one that's ever happened. Oh, I don't want to dismantle it. I'm going to have to dismantle it, I think. The joys of boating. And the horrors of tears. So that screws over there is yours, Ivan, and it's ready to go. So get down there and start undoing those screws down there. This is something I'm good at. Clogging the toilet. <laughs> Doing a great job there, mate. Call me anytime, anywhere. Okay, so that's all screws. So now you've got to just pull that top off, right? Okay, now just lift that right off. And there'll, there'll be a little pump um, mechanism, that's it. So it pulls it, pull it right out. Yep. With only two days of departure, we motored into Whangarei Marina to wash the boat, welcome our crew and shop up a storm. Ivan, the dancing cabin boy, is cleaning the decks. You have to work yourself up the ranks, don't you, Ivan? Yeah. Starting at the bottom. Start at the bottom, work my way along the bottom, and finally end up at the bottom. <laughs> so welcome aboard, Josh. Kia ora. Kia ora, bro. How are you feeling? Excited. Yeah. yeah, it is exciting. Yeah, yeah. Can't wait to get off. Yeah. Can't wait to get off. We've only just got on. Get off. <laughs> yeah. uh, thanks for having us, guys. It's going to be a great adventure. It I feel is. like Frodo Baggins. And he doesn't yeah, look too dissimilar. <laughs> <laughs> Under the cover of darkness, we headed out to Marsden Point Marina to clear customs the next morning. That's our starting point, Whangarei, and we're going to be going all the way up to Fiji. But two days out from Fiji, there's a little place called Minerva Reef. It's a little reef haven in the middle of the ocean. We've just checked out, Mike and I have just met the customs guy. As we talk, uh, we've got the rigger guy, I don't know if you can see up in the distance there, but the rigger's up the mast, doing the final, what we hope will be the complete um, rig check. Well, he's actually replacing a couple of wires on the rig. So he's had to buy replacements in. And we had to wait another day, and now he's up there. Um, doing the job. <clears throat> so hopefully it's all good and we can head off two, three o'clock at the latest. We've got perfect southerlies going to push us north uh, 15, 20, 25 knots forecast uh, for the next day or two perhaps and uh, it'll give us a good send off to get up to Minerva Reef. Looking forward to Minerva Reef, awesome. Now what have we here? I go to get the credit card and Mike's already into the act. Yeah. I'd like to contribute by um, filling up with diesel. Good on you mate, thank and it, you. And it could be a bit of self-interest in there as well. <laughs> yeah. Make sure we've got enough. Make sure we get, get somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, thanks good. Mike. That's bloody Hopefully fantastic. we've got enough for any situation. Mm. Mm. No, good on you mate. Cool. <laughs> oh man, our departure is really drawing a crowd. Thanks so much for coming everybody. We've cast off, we're off. We're off to BG. Oh yeah! <laughs> i
next time on the Cruising Kiwis. We lose a kayak. Rob tries out fishing. This could catch on. And Finn goes overboard. Go. Oh. And I bought. <laughs>